after 350 crores both which have been poured on our EVMs, why should anybody have any mind, any doubt in the mind? Why should even a, you should even, even come to your mind that it can be tempered or it can be hacked? Mm. Absolutely, you know, unjustified. Yes, sir. So immediately after election, we see someone carrying even in trucks, someone carrying even garbage car and all that and that's the general public perception creates that you know something is going amiss, something is going wrong. I mean, you would agree with that? No, public perception is not bad. It is only when the, some political parties start creating this particular narration. It should be made very clear to them and the journalists have also clarified this now. And we have got you know, three types of EVM. One is the poor EVM, mm -hmm. which is poured in the store and having a three-tier security with the political agents sitting outside there, with a video camera, all the time which is giving inside information. So they know that no polled machine can go out of this particular strong room. But we have got some machines on which we have got a training machines also to the officials. And some are demo machines. Because we go village to village to educate our voters, to familiarize them with the EVM, how to cast your vote. That is a demo machine. That is goes for a demonstration. And, and it is a training machine which goes to our polling officers and once you are counting how you have to use the CU, how do you have to use your BU, how DV pass table have to be counted. So this is the training uh, EVM song. No cold machine can come out. Can you tell me a single cold machine which has come out in spite of the so much propaganda? But sir, after voting, I mean if the training machine is rolling around in face, Somebody is carrying it in a GM's car or something. I mean, those training machines must have been used before pouring day. No, in some of the places, like Varanasi, when you are mentioning about that, the training was going to be had on that particular day. Therefore, the training machines were going to be, be being sent over there so that the polling officers should be absolutely know about it. Varanasi was the last phase of election. So that is why it was being given a hands on training to certain officials who are being involved with the counting that this is a training machine and how you have to handle it. If it would have been a cold machine, then I could have understood that, that something has come out. But no cold machine can come out after three tier security and the polling agents sitting over there with the video cameras. And if you see, I, I, I see on, on the papers that some persons are even keeping a telescope and watching the strong rooms. So when you are having so much strict vigil on our vigil also, then I think there should be no room of it. Only if anybody is saying this, he is creating a rumor and is creating a false uh, image in the, into the mind of voters, which should not be done, which should not be tolerated, which should not be even, you know, talked about. I would say that. This, this system has been established after, if after so many, I am giving you the figures, if 350 crores persons have parted, if 137 assembly constituencies have poured through the EVM, if four general elections have been conducted on the EVM, there is no doubt about it. And should not be having any doubt. So just as a layman, I want to ask this question. You said that for the last 22 years, we are using EVMs. Are these machines upgraded every time or it's the same machine which was used earlier? I mean, what kind of change it, it happens at that EVM? I mean, over the period of time, like, we can't be using the same machine which we used 22 years ago. Uh, because the life of the EVM machine is around 15 years. So we change it. And, and the more voters are coming, more machines are required. So we go for, a, for a more manufacturing. Now at this time we are you know preparing ourselves for 2024 elections. So we have already ordered for how many more EVMs are required, we better are required. So that work is still going on and every year it goes on that how much elections are going to hold and how many machines will be required. And our technical you know expert committee, which is headed by Professor Emirates Mr. Sahani, with another four of professors of the IITs, they are looking each and every aspect of the manufacturing of this. So that is nothing should go wrong. How much more EVMs will be needed, sir, for 24? That's that's what <laughs> they have already <laughs> estimated, and they are so under. Is there any upgrade in the machines? Are like technologically advanced machines are coming now? You know, in terms of definitely, but anything will be fine. That why our machine, you know, because we after, absolutely after election we analyze. Like if you see that certain machines did not work, or we had to change immediately the BB pad or we have to change the CU, though the percentage is very minuscule, that is 0.5%, 0.3%, 0.2%, but 
but even then we go for it that what was the requirement of changing the EVM, EVM machine when we have done all checkings about it so sometimes we find that the staff did not put the plug correctly or they were not fastened properly so that type of things and whatever is the technical thing they also examine that so whatever is required we go for a change in, in the methodology but i can say that it is a very robust machine it is temper proof machine it is a very transparent system of uh, you know casting the board and we indian should feel pride that we have taken the leap into this particular area where the board can be cast absolutely in a transparent manner because we have put a vv pad you can see this and then when you go to the you know put into that uh, then on we will get out so therefore the counting is also in a such a short time we can give a very accurate result in less than uh, 24 hours which other countries take so many days to count the vote and if you see that on 10th the counting was there 11th evening everything is finished and 12th we have submitted the total uh, list of the successful candidates to the governors